Hey, my name is Nick Rivers, and today I'm going to teach you how to import a .patch file, or a preset as a lot of people call them, into GarageBand or MainStage for use in those apps. One of the most confusing things about importing presets is there's different file types, and everyone kind of refers to all of them as presets. So first thing you got to do is look at your preset that you downloaded and look what type of file is it. Is it a .patch file, .pst, or .cst? This video is for .pst patch files and if you're looking for .pst or .cst you can go below in the description. If you don't know what type of file you have here's a quick way to determine. You're gonna find the preset that you downloaded here's mine and then here it is and I'm gonna look right there in the title it says .patch. If for some reason it doesn't have it in the title you can right click on the file and do get info and then if we preview it you can see patch. There's a few things we have to do first here. We're going to get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is open GarageBand. And then you can just do an empty project. So choose. And then it doesn't matter what you do here. Just audio, whatever. Um, and then we need to go over here and click this Save button. And then just do something here. Um, sample. We'll save it as. Um, and then what this is going to do is create the folder structure that you need in order to import your preset. Okay, once that's done, we can exit GarageBand. Don't need to save that. Quit GarageBand. Okay, one more thing to do before we go on the importing. We need to set our finder up correctly, so click Finder in the bottom left there. And then we need to go Finder, Preferences, and then we want to make sure, click Sidebar up here, we want to make sure that this home icon is checked. So if it's unchecked, check it and then get rid of that. Okay, now we can finally get to importing our .patch file. So what we're gonna do is find where we downloaded it. Mine came as a zip file, there it is. So I'm gonna double click that zip to expand it. And then here is the preset. This one came with a installation instructions thing um, and then here is the .patch file. What we want to do is open up a new finder window. So file, new finder window. And then we're going to go through the folder structure that we made before. Um, so you're going to click your home icon here. And this is why that first step was important because we made this folder structure we're about to go through in GarageBand when we saved that sample uh, preset. So click your home icon then music, audio music apps. There is a GarageBand folder here, but don't be uh, fooled by that. You want to click audio music apps, and then patches, because this is a dot .patch, and then audio. This can be confusing too. So like this is an instrument um, file here. This is for guitar, but we actually want to put it in audio. And then we're going to grab this here and we're just going to drag it over to our audio folder here. I'm not doing it just because I already have it in there. Um, and then we can open GarageBand back up create that audio file and then user patches and boom there it is. And now we have it available to use in GarageBand. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more tutorials on GarageBand and Logic, all kinds of great stuff like that. I'm a full-time musician, and I'm just trying to help other musicians make their music. Have a good one.